properties, uh, but uh, uh, nanostructures and uh, one-dimensional structures of uh, silicon carbide is quite novel material. So it was uh, interesting for us uh, to study it as a composite filler. Uh, we uh, used uh, the commercially available from uh, US mat research mater nanomaterials. Here is the dimensions. As a, a composite matrix, we use uh, uh, aluminum phosphate uh, ceramic which is uh, quite uh, interesting as a matrix by itself uh, because it can, uh, it can work in, at a temperature up to 2000 centigrade, so, but uh, all the preparation procedure occurs at low temperature. So uh, there are two basic components and as well as one optional for the ceramics is a filler and a binder, two, two basic. Uh, filler is contained of a uh, mixture of corundum and aluminum nitride, and uh, binder is a mixture of uh, sulfur, uh, phosphorus acid uh, and uh, aluminum hydroxide. And as a functional filler, we use this uh, uh, silicon carbide nano uh, whiskers. First, uh, let's start uh, with uh, low frequency results. Since it is a uh, semiconducting uh, material, we didn't expect uh, a huge increase of uh, conductivity as well as uh, the electric constant at uh, low concentration. But uh, if we add 35 watt percent or 25 watt percent, we can say that we already have a percolation here. And 35 uh, demonstrate very, uh, very well, per demonstrate percolation very well. And next, uh, let's go to uh, higher frequencies. But uh, before we can discuss the results, we have to uh, figure, out figure out one uh, important point. Is how did we calculate the sh shielding efficiency? We use a system, in, uh, not in the waveguide uh, as a model, uh, but in, uh, as a freestanding. And we use the material and uh, a mirror uh, behind the material. And the incident wave and rec reflected wave is here. And uh, this uh, S11 is ratio between reflected wave and the incident wave. And in this case, in case of this system, uh, this ratio can be evaluated as follows. Uh, so it uh, depends on uh, wavelengths. Uh, as well as the electric permittivity. And um, uh, since we know this uh, S11, we can calculate the absorption here as follows. And uh, here is uh, the results for uh, high frequency range, 4K band in, in this case. Here's the electric permittivity. And it should be noticed that it, it is uh, quite high. So even uh, nanotubes embedded in the same ceramics demonstrate lower results. And uh, results for absorption calculation presented here. So we see that uh, 35 weight percent of uh, uh, silicon uh, carbide uh, whiskers uh, demonstrate very high absorption ability up to 97%. So it's a uh, very in interesting and very prospective material for uh, shielding application. And uh, here is uh, our conclusions at the moment. Uh, so first we designed uh, this uh, composite. We studied uh, the, the electric properties in white uh, frequency range. And uh, we may say that uh, the shielding efficiency is quite high. And it, it is more important that uh, we achieve the shielding efficiency mostly by absorption, but not by the reflection. So thank you for your attention.